What YouTube, it's Aquarius of Fire and Prophecy, and I'm back at it with another reaction video. This time, I'm going to be reacting to what happened to the cast members of the famous Lee TV show, Malcolm in the Middle. Um, for the ones who don't know, Malcolm in the Middle was my favorite TV show around the, you know, year 2000s, around the, you know, 2000s. Um, you know, every weekend, you know, or every weekdays, I would watch it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know what I'm saying? Because I just wanted to figure out who, uh, what Malcolm was going to do next or what his family was going to do next. Um, so, you know, yeah. So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, until next, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have any favorite cast members of Malcolm in the Middle that you liked, uh, whether it was Reese, Malcolm, Lois, Hal, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And um, Reese, the guy who uh, the the guy who played Reese. Malcolm's um, cousin, I believe, because it's been a long time since I watched this sh uh, TV show. Um, he's actually the brother of um, the guy who played that so seventy show with the glasses. I forgot his name, but that's actually his brother. Which obviously I had to Google it to find out. It's like really. Because they both look alike. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but without further ado, let's get into this. Was Malcolm in the Middle a career killer for most of its actors? Who would love to do a reboot of the show? And why doesn't Frankie Muniz remember playing Malcolm? Hi, I'm Dylan, and you're watching Asa. We're going to tell you the most exciting news about the Malcolm in the Middle actors. Brian Cranston as Hal. Malcolm's likable but slightly ridiculous and completely indecisive father was a breakthrough role for the actor. Brian Cranston was so good in this role that he didn't only get three prime time. I was my favorite dad, dog. He killed that role so well. Characters and other shows and movies. But to avoid being typecast as a silly but lovable dad character, Cranston turned down these offers. I just had to have faith that something would come along. I just didn't want to be redundant, the actor explained in an interview with IFC. And something did come along for him. Along with multiple guest appearances in Family Guy, How I Met Your Mother, Little Miss Sunshine, and Drive, he received what most would call a role of a lifetime. Of course, I'm referring to Walter White in the wildly popular drama series Breaking Bad. Oh, look like at that. We both have the same names. Well, in a TV show. Breaking Bad is also a great movie, though. I ain't got me a great TV show. I'm not gonna lie. I always started watching Breaking Bad like three years ago. Cranston was even nominated for an Oscar for Best Actor for his performance. But, despite his meteoric rise to stardom, the actor seems to be missing the good old days. When asked about a possible Malcolm in the Middle reboot, Cranston said, I sure hope so. I really do. For no other reason than I miss those people like crazy, and I stay in touch with them. I'll say this, man. Um, I can't really see nobody playing any of these roles, man. I mean, I know I'm being biased and whatever have you, but I can't I can't see anybody playing Hal. I can't see play anybody playing Lois. I definitely can't see anybody playing Reese. I can't play I can't see anybody playing Dewey. I just can't, man. Like th like those time periods was just so precious, man. Like for you to just whoop up a TV show called Malcolm in the Middle, what? What you gonna call it? You need you're gonna need a title, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, like I said, man, that TV show should never be touched. You, you know, I think you should put them I think you should put Malcolm in the middle up there with Everybody Loves Raymond, uh Bernie Mac, uh the Bernie Mac show, uh Kings and Queens, um, you know, um 30 Rock from the Sun. Uh, Spin City, you know what I'm saying? Like, you should put those in the elites of the elites, 
I'm not saying the elites, but I'm just saying that you should put them on the category in those order in that order so now if they can do it like a reunion a re, like a like a Malcolm in a mo like a Malcolm in a middle movie reunion then I'm all for it you know what I'm saying but just like how they did American Pie American Pie 2 American Buy American Pie Ban Camp and then obviously they did their reunion obviously when everybody got together but obviously, movie and TV show are two different things. But, you know, I'll be all for it if they did the reunion. Re, 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 I'll be all for it if they did the reunion of Malcolm in the Middle. You know what I'm saying? But a like reboot? A no. This popular show? Mm -mm. Share in the comments. Nope. Jane Kasmerick as Lois. Lois was my, <laughs> Lois was my favorite mom, man. She was so strict. But she kind of bent the rules her own way. You know what I'm saying? It's either her way or no way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, people don't understand, man. I was I was a huge Malcolm in the Middle, middle ah. I was a huge Malcolm in the Middle fan, man. Like, people don't understand. Like, once his parents found out, like, I think he found, I think, yeah, like, like, I think season four, they found out he was like, he had an IQ of 190. And for people who have a IQ of 190, that's like Albert Einstein smart. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can solve problems. He can do this. He can do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and his dad was just throwing random questions at him. And he was just bang, 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 bang. You know what I'm saying? But the difference is, is that his parents never took advantage of his smartness. You know what I'm saying? As you can tell, like, most people, most kids... It, their kid, I mean, most people, if if they if they if they find out their kids were smart, they would have freaking did everything and everything that they could to 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 make them, you know, like they'll they'll have like how you call it, like publicity stunt. You know what I'm saying? Like they'll they'll put them on TV shows. They'll do this. Like they'll. They'll embarrass them, you know what I'm saying? But Malcolm admit, Malcolm and Malcolm parents wasn't really like that, you know what I'm saying? They appreciated his smartness for his his own good willings, you know what I'm saying? His dad, the caring, smart, but overbearing Lois, was quite a boost for Jane Kasmerak's career. She even set a record for receiving the highest number of Emmy nominations for the same category without winning a single one. Oh. So it's hard to say whether this record is a good or bad thing. After Malcolm in the Middle ended, Kasmerak appeared in quite a few other TV series. Do you remember her in Law & Order, SVU, The Big Bang Theory, The Middle, and This Is Us? The actress also made a surprise appearance and reprised the role of Lois in the alternative ending for Breaking Bad. In an unexpected scene included in the DVD really? set of the series, Brian Cranston wakes up in bed next to her, revealing that the entire show was nothing but a nightmare of his. Yep, you heard That's that crazy. right. The plot of Breaking Bad was a nightmare of Malcolm in the Middle's Hal. Who could ever expect that to happen? What do you think about this ending? Christopher Masterson as Francis. Yo, oh, man. And a delinquent. Francis was <laughs> Francis was a true Gemini. Not should I say Gemini? I know he's not a Gemini in real life, but I'm just saying, like, like Francis was just one of those fun, reckless type of you know family member. You know what I'm saying? That didn't like his parents to default as as a default as default. You know what I'm saying? Um. But yeah. The eldest son of the Wilkerson family loved frustrating his mother and always clashed with her. In real life, Christopher Masterson also comes from a big family, and many of his siblings are into acting as well. For example, his brother Danny played in that 70s show. Da his other brother Joel. No, for real? Wow. I did not know that. They were late. Wow. I'm just not. <laughs> I'm, I would never expected that. Wow, that's pretty good. Gordon is known for his role as Mark in The 40-Year-Old Virgin, and his sister Alana is famous for playing Tara in The Walking Dead. That's quite a family, huh? Damn. But let's get back to Christopher. 
Reportedly, he was considered for the role of Will Turner in Pirates of the Caribbean, but then Orlando Bloom stepped in and turned out to be a perfect fit. After Malcolm in the Middle ended, Masterson appeared in a few TV shows, including White Collar, Men at Work, and Haven. You can also see him in a few short films, but these days he isn't much into acting and is more into music. Fans can spot him in the Los Angeles-based nightclub where he performs under the name DJ Chris Kennedy. That's in nice. In his personal life, Chris also seems to be doing fine because last year he married his girlfriend of four years. Congrats. Wow. Justin Burfield as Reese. Reese. The troublemaker, trouble, I mean Texas brother. Yeah, that sums up Reese, Malcolm's other older brother. If Eric Cartman was a real brother, no he would have been Justin Reese Burfield for real. Played Malcolm's older brother. He's actually younger than Frankie Muniz in real life. To wow. this day, the role of Reese remains the most notable in Burfield's yeah, filmography. True. After Malcolm in the Middle, he mostly resigned from acting. His wow. only other credit was a guest appearance in one episode of Sons of Tucson. Instead of taking on new roles, Burfield went behind the scenes and devoted his time to producing movies. Wow, really? A subset of so we need, so he actually went behind the scenes in film and instead of just... Packaging and That's pretty smart. Burfield works as a chief creative officer there. According to his Twitter and Instagram, That's pretty smart. when he's not working, the former actor seems to enjoy traveling and fishing. Why would you blow yourself Eric out Sullivan by, you know? know? Malcolm's musically gifted but often overlooked brother was the youngest child in the family until a new child came along in the fifth season of the show. Now yeah. in his 20s, Eric Per Sullivan seems to have completely disappeared from the limelight. Like really? his other brothers from the show, he doesn't act anywhere these days. Ever since Malcolm wow. in the Middle released its final episode, he only appeared in Joel Schumacher's teen drama 12, where he starred alongside 50 Cent, Chase Crawford, and Emma Roberts. For the last 10 years, Sullivan has had no film or TV credits. Mm. What's more, his social media footprint is remarkably low, especially for a millennial. But there mm. are still a few facts that we managed to dig up for you, Dewey fans. First of all, don't let his big-eared, childish appearance fool you. Sullivan has a black belt in Taekwondo. Didn't know that. Just like his character from the show, Eric has musical talent. He plays the piano and saxophone. I think I kind of knew that because there was an episode where he was uh, with the grandma and they, they was doing the piano together. They were doing the duet. It was a good idea for him to get off the radar. Share in the comments. I think it was a good idea. As Malcolm. And the star now of the let's show. Talk about the main character of the show. After playing an extremely intelligent but slightly self-absorbed boy, Frankie Muniz became one of Hollywood's most bankable teens. It seems that after being skyrocketed to fame, he should have remained in the spotlight for a long time and turned into a successful adult actor. But that didn't happen. Muniz made guest appearances in a few TV shows and had a titular I'm not gonna pause it no more. film agent Cody Banks about a James Bond-like teenage spy who has to save the world as well as... I've seen that one. Cody Banks was one of the final main roles of the actor, who later put his career on hold to become a professional race car driver. But in 2012, things changed drastically for the young actor. Muniz suffered two mini strokes a year apart from Damn. each other that resulted in significant memory loss. Wow. She turned out to be so bad that he doesn't even remember playing Malcolm. I've gotten really? to really do anything I've wanted to do, but the truth is, I don't remember much of that. It almost feels like it wasn't me, the actor shared. Damn. But we should give credit to Frankie. Hey, man, shout out to Frankie Muniz, man. Memory loss is a very tough thing to deal with, man. When you're dialing with, when you're dealing with strokes. their own olive oil company, and Muniz says that this experience is really rewarding. And now, let's recall the supporting cast of the That's pretty good. He opened up his own oil company. That's the main characters. Craig Lamar trailer. Oh, yeah, the 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 wheelchair boy. He had asthma, too. That's nice. Trailer 
creates various jeweler items that, according to a description on Deity Designs, which is his shop's Instagram page, heal the soul and tame the mind. He has quite a few pretty knickknacks there, so be sure to check him out. Hayden Panettiere as Jessica. She's no secret. <laughs> yeah, she was very annoying. I'll, I'll pause. I'll pause here though, but. She was very annoying. I mean, obviously not her in real life, but her character. She was kind of like Tootie off of um, Fairy Godparents. That was so obsessive with Malcolm. You know what I'm saying? But she was a manipulative, manipulative um, kind of person, you know? Like, she'll get Reese to do her wrongdoings, and then Malcolm would always, you know, get the blame or get the fall when, you know, Lois comes home. <laughs> on their couch for a while when her dad was arrested even though she was quite a manipulative young lady See? she was still a good friend to malcolm for hayden panettiere this role yeah, that girl find herself though i ain't gonna lie she played in so many other tv shows and films there's only one if there's any white female i'll smash i'll probably smash her you know because i'm not really into white females that much but you know i'm just saying hypothetically you know series heroes as well as in nashville the forger and custody other than being a yeah successful man she did actress, a big role for her is also a singer model and activist cool. who holds a PETA compassion and action award for her efforts she to has stop no the dolphin hunt in japan david anthony higgins craig here's another he was so obsessed with lois though cast, but he kept the low key though after malcolm in the middle show craig was lois's co-worker and was secretly in love with her yeah he had quite a few interesting every single episode dog oh character. my god ever since malcolm in the middle ended david anthony higgins continued playing minor and major parts both on the big and small screens we can see him in episodic roles i'll leave my final message at the end of this video though american horror story murder house and californication um They didn't she uh he didn't mention um the Francis um not Francis um he didn't mention the the Asian girl you know uh uh the girlfriend of uh Francis not Francis um oh god hold on rebellious and a delinquent the, the series brian cranston wakes up in bed next to and he played in that seven treating his mother and always what do you think about this ending christopher masterson as francis there you go i was right francis like they didn't they didn't um they didn't mention the the asian female uh the asian girlfriend of francis both on the big and small screen. Maybe she didn't really do that much, but I don't know. Shows as Last Man Standing, American Horror Story, Murder House, and California. That's Cation. good. Plus, he was also a recurring yet important character in Big Time Rush and Mike and Molly. What's more, Higgins is also at the helm of the parody comedy TV series. Mike and Molly was a terrible TV show. Where he helps celebrity guests Thank gosh that crap ended. Sounds funny, huh? Oh my god. Grandma Edda. That girl was so mean. That lady was so mean. She was mean to everybody, dog. She didn't give a damn who you were. She was especially mean to Lois, but oh my god. If Malcolm in the Middle Man was black. Ugh. But then again, you know what I'm saying? Malcolm in the Middle was like a different you know, you know, TV show than others, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was your typical white American, you know, household, you know what I'm saying? Like, what goes inside the typical household of a white American, you know what I'm saying? But the... The most despicable characters on Malcolm in the Middle, she seemed to dislike absolutely <laughs> everyone, especially her daughter Lois. Thankfully, Cloris Leachman is a completely different person in real life. She's a successful actress. Yeah, that was her. She looks so young. Even before taking on the role of Grandma Ida. Overall, 
the actress has credits in 275 films and TV shows. 275 films? That's a lot. She even won an Oscar as Best Supporting Actress. Wow, that was her? She's so young. Drama, the Last Picture Show. After Malcolm in the Middle, she kept on playing in multiple TV shows and movies. And she even became the oldest contestant ever yeah. on Dancing with the That's Stars. Cool. And even though the actress is already over 90 years old, she doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. Wow. These days, Leachman seems to have gained even more fame due to playing Zoria Vetramaya in the Stars TV series American Gods. Way to go, Cloris. That's Aren't good. you inspired by people like her who remain active and creative no matter what? Who's after Malcolm's story? Story surprised you the most? Share in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay awesome. Thanks for watching. Listen, man. Um, you know, like I said, man, my committed middle was my favorite TV show growing up, man. Um, you, you know, um, it's it's very it's very rare that you'll get TV shows that's that was just so high standard. You know, because usually when you get TV shows like this, you'll see, like, you know, cast members, you know, either they have drinking problems or they have some type of, you know, or they're going through some type of addiction or, you know, this and that and the third. Or they have health problems or this, obviously, Frank Frankie Muniz was battling stroke, you know what I'm saying? But you know he 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 looks healthy and he looks all right. But um, you know you get TV shows like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but everybody in this, everybody in the cast members, just went narrowed. You know what I'm saying? Nobody went left. Nobody went right. Nobody went east. Nobody went south. Nobody went north. Like they all walked a narrow path. You know. They started the same, they ended the same, and, you know, that, that says it, that says it by itself, man, like, you can't script, you can't write a perfect ending to Malcolm in the Middle, you know what I'm saying, and obviously the last, um, the last episode is when he was sending, when he was going off to college, and, you know, everybody obviously basically moved on, you know what I'm saying, um, so, I mean, again, man, you know, if I had to rank Malcolm in the Middle or, or, or if I had to do these, you know, top tiers TV shows of, of the 2000s, I would have put Malcolm in the Middle number one or A, A plus. You know what I'm saying? Like that TV show had everything. It had drama. It had romance. It had, you know, it had sadness. I mean, it just had everything. You know what I'm saying? Like it was, it, it took you inside the household of a, a typical American family. You know what I'm saying? What goes on inside a typical household family of America? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know that uh, this movie, I mean, this TV show will never be touched again. I hope not. I hope there isn't a reboot, cause we don't even want a reboot. Now, like I said, I'm all for doing a reunion, you know what I'm saying, like, everybody get together, you know what I'm saying, like, three years or two months or four months away, they can, you know, start producing, you know what I'm saying, but just like how they did it for American Pie, you know what I'm saying, when they had the reunion for American Pie, they should have this same exact thing for, you know, Malcolm in the Middle reunion, the movie reunion, or... When they had their reunion for, you know, Sex in the City, you know what I'm saying? So they had so many different TV shows that they, like the reunion of Family Matters, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe they could put it into a whole movie, you know what I'm saying? Instead of a TV show, they can just, but again, you know, some of the cast members in that, you know, obviously passed it away. So, I mean, I mean, again, you know, same thing with Martin, you know what I'm saying? Like should Martin do a a a movie like our fam like a, a a reunion movie or something like that? But I mean I don't know. But to me, man, Malcolm in the Middle can never be touched. Um, you know, great TV show. Um, and it will always be my favorite TV show of all time in its generation. You know what I'm saying? So like, comment, subscribe. 
Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.